Oh yeah, I had tacos before. Howdy y'all, it's Seth, and I let the hair down today because it's a very important event. Taco Tuesday. That's right, between work appointments, I figured I'd check out Taco John's. And I gotta be honest with you, it took me 17 minutes from the time I ordered to get my food, so it's already not a great start. But it is Taco Tuesday, and I did get tacos from the company who trademarked Taco Tuesday, so what do you expect? Let's dig in. Up first is the taco, the classic taco. Now they actually brag that they fry their shells daily, so I'm guessing this is a in-store fried taco shell. It looks similar to every other taco I've ever had from a fast food taco place. You know, both of them. But uh, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. Maybe there's cheese under the lettuce, I don't know. But so far, it just looks like meat and lettuce. But we're gonna take a bite and see how this works and hold this close so I don't spill all over myself. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tacos make good mouth hides. I like this. I'll just hold this here, it looks like a frown. That's what happens when you wait 17 minutes for your tacos. But it is hot, and I can tell they do fry the shell in store, so that's good. The taco meat itself is a little bit bland. Um, not bad, but I kind of like my taco meat to have a, a, a punch of that uh, cumin. Cumin? Cumin? Uh, you know the spice. I kind of like my taco to have a punch of that. And this is really just kind of ground beef. It's not bad. I'm sure there's a little flavor in it. It looks like it's staining the taco shell a little bit red. So obviously there's spice, but just not what I would like for my palate. It's a very mild taco season. And there is cheese under the lettuce. So lettuce, cheese, beef, taco on Taco Tuesday. You can't go wrong. Okay, I did finish the taco and I gotta be honest. A little further in, the flavor profile picked up a little bit. I don't know if they put a sauce on there, but it got a little bit spicier, a little bit better. It's still very, very mild. You're not gonna be, you know, crying. My cheeks are red, of course, but that's just because I'm sitting in a car with the air off so you can hear me talk. And I'm French Canadian heritage, so we turn red at literally anything. So one taco down on Taco Tuesday. I've got a chicken burrito coming up, but first I've got to hit this. Now, you think of a taco restaurant, especially a fast food taco restaurant, and you're thinking, it's got to come with a side, right? Nachos, that would make sense. Twisty cinnamon things, we've seen them before. Potato crowns? <laughs> this is, this is different. This is, uh, yeah, that's like a tater tot. This is not what you expect as a side item for a Mexican lunch. Um, yeah, actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm making fun of them. But there's a seasoning on there in addition to the salt. But it's pretty good. But it's also a gigantic cup. 12 ounces overflowing of crispy crowns or whatever the kids are calling them these days. I'm I'm sure they have a special name for them. I was not paying attention. I was too busy fuming about waiting 17 minutes for my food. But so far they're redeeming themselves on this, the tacoist of Tuesdays. Should we try the burrito? I think so. But first, it's a Diet Pepsi kind of day. I'm eating my calories. I don't need to be drinking them too. So we'll just stick with the chemicals. It'll probably kill me faster than any sugar ever will. All right, odds of the chicken burrito. Now I'm gonna tell you a little something about this chicken burrito, which comes in a pouch, a sleeve, instead of a, a wrap. And I'm sorry for all the crinkly noises. Everything's like brown waxy paper. So this is a grilled chicken burrito. And I gotta be honest with you, it looks pretty good. Um, it's heavy. It's not as big as I would have thought it might be, but it's very dense. 
And I believe this is mostly just chicken, cheese, some other things. We'll see. We'll find out. Hmm. I'll have to take a second bite to open this thing up for that big reveal shot. It is gooey, chicken, cheese, sour cream. It looks like there's some more of those hash brown potato crowns in there. So when all is said and done, I'm probably eating 600 calories of fried potato, which is exactly what you expect from a Mexican restaurant and fried potato. This isn't bad. I love Mexican food. I spent 26 years in Florida enjoying uh, Hispanic foods from every country you can think of. Um, if I could eat one food for the rest of my life, it would probably be uh, Spanish, Hispanic foods. I just, I love it. This does not scream Hispanic food to me. This does not scream Mexico. This, um, the flavor profile here, just, this it tastes more like a toasted chicken wrap. Uh, it's not bad. I'm going to continue eating it. Mm. Should that have been the thumbnail? Maybe. But it's not bad. But this doesn't scream like, like this isn't Mexican food to me. This is, um, I'll tell you what this is when I, when I do my review. Because so I've got an image in my head that I'm going to share with you. And it may be offensive to some people. So with that in mind, stay tuned to see if I uh, anger some people or offend people. You never know. Um, but that has a distinct flavor profile that I will share with you when I wrap this video up. Okay, so normally this is where my video would have ended. I think potato crowns, a taco, and a chicken burrito are sufficient. However, I'm doing this for you, okay? I can't just show you two items, but I do have to show you a little more food just to give you the full profile of what it is we're actually eating here at Taco John's today. So this is a beef nacho burrito. The name is wrong. This was the upsell. They had the little counter thing that said add one for $2. And this is called a burrito. It's not the size of a burrito. I have small hands and I mean, this thing makes me look like a giant. So it's beef and tortilla chips and something else. So let's just dive right in. And there you can kind of see that. The, the chips, the meat, the cheese. When I was in high school and a little beyond, I actually worked for Taco Bell. And my favorite item there was the chili cheese burrito. It was fantastic. A chilito, as they sometimes called it. I love that stupid thing. It's been off the menu for a long time. This does not hit the spot. <laughs> this is just meat and stale tortilla chips and a little bit of cheese. Um, I'm not even gonna finish eating it. So it's a little disappointing, especially for two bucks. I thought it might be a little bit bigger, um, but it's just not. Not what I was hoping it would be, but I had to share that. This is part of the food review. They can't all be winners. And I like being honest. I could pretend that's the best thing I've ever eaten and really, really wow and impress you with how amazing Taco John's is. But I like to be honest instead and take the crumbs off of my shirt. I'm surprised, honestly, that that's the only thing I've gotten on my shirt so far. So the chicken burrito was good, but it wasn't Mexican food. The taco was actually the best thing I've eaten so far. For the place that trademarked Taco Tuesday, they nailed it. I'll give them credit where it's due. Uh, it started off a little bland, but then I hit the, the sauce pocket and it got a whole lot better. So the taco was fantastic. The chicken burrito is good. I'm not complaining about that, but it's not Mexican food. It's, I'll tell you when I wrap this up, what my thoughts are on this, but I do have to eat dessert first. As you know, I can't do a review without getting a dessert. I'll probably just eat a bite of these because this honestly is not my, uh, not my favorite dessert going. It's down here somewhere in my bag of, in my passenger seat full of food trash. Um, they do have churros. This is not my favorite. I am not really a churro guy, but I had to add dessert. Again, 
I'm doing this review for you, and how could I show you Taco John's without showing you Taco John's dessert? So, we're gonna do that. That's a churro. It's, if you like churros, it's good. I'm not gonna complain about it because as churros go for fast food, it's pretty solid. It's very dense, it's a filling dessert. Very doughy, very bready, very good. If you like churros, you'll like this. If you don't care for churros, don't get one. That's gonna go in a bag and go home and sit on a counter till my wife gets home and I'll throw it her way and see if she has any interest whatsoever. Okay. So we're gonna wrap this up with an honest opinion about everything. The, and here's where I offend people, so you're gonna love this. Taco John's has a big sign out front that says the taste of West Mex, which I'm assuming means West Mexico. I've only been to East Mexico, so I've never honestly actually been to West Mexico, but the food so far doesn't taste like anything I would actually expect to find in Mexico. What it does taste like is like two middle-aged women in Wisconsin got together and decided that they once had tacos 20 years ago and they would like to open up a taco restaurant. So these two women get together in America's heartland, like I said, rural Wisconsin, and they're like, and here's where I offend you. If you hate the accent, I'm sorry. If you love the accent, go ahead and give me some likes. If you're indifferent, like I hope you are, then just be indifferent. But it's like these two Midwestern women were like, we should start a taco company. Oh yeah, I had tacos before. All right, then it actually looks like the YouTube gods have spoken because right as I started doing a horrible, horrible stereotypical accent of a couple of boomers from the Midwest, my phone overheated. So the YouTube gods said, don't do it, buddy, and I'm not gonna do it. Overall opinion of Taco John's, Yes, I would 100% eat there again. It was pretty good for what it was. Um, I didn't I didn't care for the fact that it took me 17 minutes from the time I ordered to get my food. That's not exactly what you expect from fast food. But it's Taco Tuesday, and they did seem understaffed, so it's, it's understandable. Um, it was busy when I went in. I should have anticipated it, and I just didn't. So that's annoying, but I'm not even going to really fault them with that. Overall, uh, great lunch, can't complain. Uh, some things I would get again, like the chicken burrito, which wasn't really Mexican, but still pretty darn delicious. The tacos were fantastic. Uh, Diet Pepsi is properly calibrated, nice cold. So that's solid. The churro, if you're a churro person, I would imagine it's fantastic. I'm not really a churro person, so it was still decent to me, so you'll probably like it. Uh, the beef nacho taco burrito thing, Nah, that's a hard pass. It was very dry, just meat and chips, and very disappointing. But overall, not a bad experience, and I will definitely try it again, get some things on the menu. And the little taco rounds, or whatever they call them, those, those crispy crowns were fantastic. A lot more than I need, and not the side item you'd expect with uh, taco lunch, but they hit the spot, so I'm not complaining about that either. Overall, it's going to be a thumbs up. And speaking of, I'd love you to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, also, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of camping, hiking, eating, gear reviews, and miscellaneous other things here in East Tennessee. And I'd love to have you along for the adventure. And until we see each other again, happy trails.